Hi, I'm Meredith with M&M RV. Today, we're going to be doing a review of the Enfield Rocky Mount KOA Journey located in Enfield, North Carolina. It's conveniently located just off of I-95 and is one of the few campgrounds along that route. Our family needed a one night stop on our way to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And so this was a really great fit for us. We don't currently have a Harvest Host or Boondockers welcome membership. We really didn't want to do something like a Walmart. We wanted to be able to plug into electric so that our air conditioner could run. And this was the perfect fit for us. The majority of the sites at this campground were pull through with full hookup. The campground does have a few tent sites and they had two camping cabins. And we also noticed that there were a few seasonal or long-term long sites available. Our site was number 28 and it was a pull through full hookup site. The sites here are really long, um, but they're very narrow. So many of the sewer hookups were right next to the picnic tables of your neighbor sites. Fire rings are not provided for the sites, but you can rent them at the office um, and you can also purchase firewood there. They also have a nice community fire pit which is over by the pool that anybody can use um, and we actually asked if we would be allowed to use it with charcoal for our Dutch oven and they said yeah sure absolutely. The store was small um, but it did include the basics including ice and they do sell propane there. The staff was very friendly and helpful. I had an incident where I had to change part of our reservation and they were very helpful and didn't charge me to change or anything like that. They did, they were really great. They actually give you uh, trash bags when you check in and they'll do trash pickup right at your site each day around 11 a.m. There was not a ton of amenities here, but actually considering this was a KOA journey, which is the uh, lowest level of the KOA company campgrounds, uh, we were really pleased with it. It did have a pool, um, which was not fancy, but it was very nice. It was a great way to relax after a long day of travel. The campground also had a playground area, which my kids really enjoyed. Um, volleyball, it had like a giant Connect Four and a little picnic pavilion over by the pool, uh, which had some other like board type games and stuff like that. Um, it had a nice dog park and they even include some toys and balls in the dog park for your for your pets. Had a 24 hour laundry room and an actually a game room as well, which we never actually went to, but we saw some pictures of it online and it looks really nice. Looked like it had like a either air hockey or pool table in there and some arcade type games. The bathhouse was what I would consider average for a campground, but it was clean. Uh, you did have locks that you had to, um, like a, a lock code that you had to put in to be able to enter it um, so that you can't have people just off of 95 stop and use it. And the showers were all located inside the bathhouse. So there's only one bathhouse, one for women and one for men, and all the showers are located inside of that. I think there was about three shower stalls in the women's. I'm not sure about the men's. But for a campground for like a one or two night stopover this was great it was perfect exactly what we needed we really had no complaints except that there were a ton of gnats but other than that we really enjoyed it so let's break down what we thought of this this was definitely not a luxury stay but it was really nice the amenities i gave it about a 3.5 for the amenities and actually could probably almost push it to a four considering this was a journey and it had so much for maintenance and cleanliness again i would give it a four it was really well maintained everything was pretty clean. Um, no real complaints there. The staff was super friendly. I gave them a five. I just love when campgrounds have really friendly staff. The sites were level for the most part. They were gravel sites, um, but they were on the smaller side. And so I gave that a three, um, especially since your sewer hookup was pretty much right underneath your neighbors. The location accessibility, the ability to get there off of 95 was amazing. So that was a five. It was super easy to get to, super easy to find, super easy to get into. You weren't having to fight with trees or anything like that. So we really liked that. And then the campground atmosphere was what we consider happy family. You have the ability to enjoy nature, definitely quiet, but lots of things for families to enjoy there. Overall, great stay would recommend this especially if you're just doing like one or two nights i don't know it wasn't it wasn't a bad campground we we actually really enjoyed it